Alright guys, today I have a video here on my new Nexus 7 and uh, this is the 2013 edition with the back camera and the front facing camera, both cameras on it. Uh, just so you guys know what, you're, what we're running here, this is I think code name Flow, F-L-O. Um, so what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to install a custom ROM on this device and we're actually going to install Paranoid Android so let me just go ahead and show it to you I've downloaded it here this is my file browser it should be in downloads and there is the Paranoid Android zip and this is the Google applications for it so you're going to need to have both of those things on your device already downloaded the other requirements are an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. I have Twerp recovery installed. You can also use Team Win, or that's Team Win Recovery Project. You can also use Clockwork Mod Recovery or maybe Shabby Penguin Recovery, which is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. Either one of those is fine. Make sure you have those other prerequisites made. If you don't have them, please, please um, go and watch my other videos on them. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I have videos on how to unlock it, how to get a custom recovery, how to get root access, all that stuff on my YouTube channel. So, I'm actually going to use uh, ROM Toolbox. This is a pretty cool application. And just use it to reboot me into recovery. Uh, reboot to recovery. Now, you can also get into recovery by powering the device down. And then, when it's completely powered off, holding uh, volume down and power on the side here until you get into bootloader mode and then scroll up and down with volume up and down and then select recovery with power and that will also boot you into recovery you should know how to do all that stuff if you already have a custom recovery installed again if you don't watch my other videos please um, so first thing you're going to do when you want to flash around is you're going to go right here and go to backups you're going to set current name you're going to type in a name and everything's checked and you're going to swipe across the bottom to make an android backup I've already done that and you can see this is my backup right here from earlier today so I have a good backup everything's good to go there um, next what you want to do is go right here to wipes and go ahead and just scroll across to wipe this does the standard wipe of your device and gets it ready to flash around so we'll go back go back again go to installs pick your ROM, add a zip, pick your Google applications and should be both in there. See files 2 of 10 max and then go ahead and swipe across to flash. Um, so this is a pretty simple process really. Uh, just go ahead and let it uh, install here. This shouldn't take too long. This is a quad core with you know I think it's 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor so this should be very very fast I think. You can see it says right there PA gaps so I think actually we're almost already done I'm just gonna hold here and let this thing run through uh, my progress bar is over halfway uh, there we go mounting system installation complete is what it says okay there you go uh, last thing it says to go ahead and do is do this wipe cache uh, and Delvic one more last time uh, there you go go back and then we can go ahead and reboot system and this should boot up uh, paranoid Android uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see there you go, that's also the symbol right there that proves that you have an unlocked bootloader, that little unlock icon on the Google Startup. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see the boot animation because I always love seeing them and see what we have here. <laughs> okay, this is Paranoid Android, you saw that was uh, 3 Plus, um, that's just the newest Paranoid Android for this device. So there you go, there was the boot animation, I don't think there's anything more here, it looked like that was pretty much it. Give this thing a good 10 minutes to boot up. Shouldn't take that long. I'm going to go ahead and boot up, run through my uh, startup stuff, and we'll get back to you. All right, here we are, fully booted up. Let's go ahead and unlock the device and just see what we got. It looks like a pretty uh, funky-looking yellow wallpaper right here. Um, not too much on your home screens. Pretty basic. I know this is based off AOSP, but then it's got all of its cool Paranoid Android customization in it. One thing I want to mention to you guys uh, that I had was a problem. Um, the build from the fourth that I had that I showed you in the video failed to install and I had to revert back to my Android backup. So it was a good thing I had that and download the uh, 8.3 version of the ROM and that one has booted up okay. The other one was giving me a settings force close on startup. So anyway here we go we're booted up here. Um, these are the applications in here. It does come with 
play games built in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, Nexus 7, the new Nexus 7 is coming with that. I think some of the 4.3 uh, phones are coming with that, with that have Android 4.3 in it. You do have Paranoid OTA, which I'm assuming just allows you to do OTA updates for Paranoid Android, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to go down and search out the ROM and reinstall it and do da da, all these kind of things. You can just run the update. And that's it. It's really pretty basic. I mean, you got your Hangouts, your basic Google applications. Um, that's all you have in here. But let's go into settings because that's normally where the magic happens on this ROM. And you can see it's got this kind of tablet interface looking thing. Um, on the side here, if we scroll, let's see what we have. Oh, this looks pretty basic. Okay, so here it is. Under customization, you do have Super Sue right there. You can see it's built into the settings right there. Um, but right here under customization, you have tools, lock screen, and hybrid properties. So let's go ahead and go into tools. And here's where all the customization starts, man. You, yeah, it just keeps going. So you do have Pi stuff for Pi controller, it looks like. Yeah, Pi controller, a whole bunch of things for that. What else do you have up here? Split menu buttons, quick setting panels. Let's see what we have on pull down. So here you got a pull down. Okay. There's a little error right there, obviously, in the build. That's got a problem right there. It should. Or, oh, no, that's your color settings. That's what that is. Okay, so that's your D. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's your screen stuff, your DPI, and then your basic color theme right there in that settings panel. That's kind of neat. I like that. If you click on that, it should open up all that stuff. Yeah, okay. So your basic color theme. So for example, if we want to say status bar icons, let's say I like, oh, what's a good color? I kind of like a uh, green. I'm a kind of green guy. Um, let's go with something like that. You select it. And you say apply. And boom, you just got green icons on the top. So that's very cool. I like that there's a shortcut for it. And you can get into all of your settings right here for coloring and stuff like that. And change it all and tweak it how you want. I dig that very much. Um, I'm sure that's also in here. In these settings on the side here under this toolbar stuff. You can probably get into some more of that too. I think that's in hybrid properties. It's actually in here. Yeah, this is where it's actually located at. So this is all the, the tablet, the phablet, the stock UI, the PA colors. I mean all this fancy like customization is all right here in this uh, Paranoid Android settings which is very very cool and just you can do a ton with it you can just totally change this you don't like this look on the layout of the settings you can change it to the stock look uh, the layout of the settings um, just just a lot a lot of customization in here when it comes to this device go to quick settings panels and you can do some different layout stuff here obviously too so very cool. Uh, definitely like Paranoid Android. But there you go, guys. That's basically how to install a custom ROM on your device. Um, this is Paranoid Android, but this is the same, pretty much exact same principle with CM, Sygen Mod, or any other custom ROM like Eclipse ROM. I like that a lot. Or Elemental X. Any of those. It's the same exact process. So there you go. As always, guys, please check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over on the side, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.